Welcome to the Old Iron Lover channel. My name is Bob and uh, this video is going to be the second in our series of uh, using the TDR-82B uh, drill grinder and uh, this time we're going to cover uh, pointing the or splitting the points or web thinning on uh, drill bits. First thing we're going to do is uh, just t uh, make sure this this drill bit we're going to split is also uh, sharp. Previous video I showed uh, the process of sharpening and one of the things I did that I probably could have done better is I didn't show a straight sharpening of a drill bit. Um, the one I did before was one that had a, a nick out of the corner and I was actually grinding down quite a bit of the bit and so I was much more aggressive in the use of the of the tool than you normally would be just to sharpen a drill bit. So this one here is pretty good. I'm going to just touch it up, uh, get it uh, set in the chuck. There we go. Get it set in the chuck with the uh, cutting edges aligned with those uh, little index marks sticking out about three quarters of an inch. Bring it in uh, to the wheel until it and just the wheel till it just touches. About there. And then a few quick strokes. Turn it over. Uh, all that's needed. Now this drill bit has a previous grind on it uh, from the, the, the original new grind. It's, you can see these heels are t taken back a little further than, uh, than this particular tool will go. It won't hurt anything. We're really concerned about the part with the cutting edge. So we've got the, uh, the drill in the, in the chuck. We're going to take the wedge out. Dust off a little here. Put the uh, point splitter plate in. It drops in there like so. Now I've been using this point splitter with this particular wheel here for several drill bits, so I know that. Uh, if you remember how we set these, the, we set it to C1 and then we dialed in this uh, relief dial so that it was on the C plus or minus uh, you know, a couple of marks. So I'm going C1 plus 2, so I'm, I'm going to the C mark plus 2 marks. And we change, uh, change out your wheels to a different wheel for this. Uh, you will run into possibly the need to uh, reset that relief uh, height just a little bit. Okay, now we uh, loosen up our lock on the base. Turn it so the, the corner with the index marks on it is over here on the zero mark. Now that is not the index mark on the zero mark, but the actual corner of the, of the uh, control block. Next thing we're going to do is get the wheel and the drill bit in close proximity to each other and we're going to check lining just looking down the edge of this uh, the bottom of the wheel and make sure it looks like it's going to hit the center of that point and it looks like it is the other thing we want to do is look at down from the top 
and line up that center of that point with the center line or the ax, the, yeah, the vertical line here through the uh, through the wheel, and so we're pointed right at the bottom of the wheel. Then we uh, set our stop to stop it there, so we're consistently hitting the uh, the right depth for that. right there. That looks pretty good. Okay, we have a freshly ground drill bit and I've uh, blued the edges of it so we can see what's going on with it. And uh, we have our uh, control block set with the corner of the control block at zero. We have the uh, uh, height set, the uh, relief C1, and uh, the plus one setting on here. So C1 plus one. And then I've got the, uh, the stop set so that looking down on it we have the center of the wheel vertically lined up with the point uh, of the uh, bit and looking at it horizontally we have the height of the bit lined up with the corner of the wheel the center of the wheel and the center of the bit um, if anything, I'd like to be just a little low because we can make an adjustment at the end to, to kind of clean that up. So we'll look at how the point develops. And as we noted before, or in a, in a still I put in here, instead of lining it up on a big bit like this, uh, uh, this is a half inch drill bit, um, instead of lining it up with the chisel point aligned with the uh, uh, the little index marks on the end of the chuck. These little guys here. We rotated it counterclockwise. And uh, we, we actually ended up with it so that the these uh, cutting edges are about 45 degrees from the actual faces of the block here. going to be an approximation, but that's going to get rid of a problem that we have with uh, the bigger bits. And uh, you can see it on this one here, and I've got some stills that will show it too. You get a little bit of a hook right there at the end. And just kind of get rid of that. So here's another one, got a little bit of that, a little bit of a hook right on the end there. By rotating it out a little bit, we tend to take the bit less off of the heel and, and more in, in this direction. So anyway, let's uh, fire up the grinder and start start splitting the point, see how it turns out. Okay, no contact there. No contact there. Okay, getting just a little bit of contact. Turning up again about a sixteenth of a turn on the wheel. Maybe a little more to get started with because we're just taking just such a small amount off of there. And I am using a cooling bucket over here behind me, just because uh, 
we will uh, start heating it up and we start taking some, some more, get down into the meat of the cut. Here's our cut, and we're starting to get close to having it split already. You can see we've come in here, and we're here. We're actually about as deep as we want. The, as you advance the wheel into it, it, it advances this part of the cut in. And we are just looking at it from the top. If you can see that or not, I'll get you still in here too. We are about even here and here. That line is pretty straight. And the other thing you'll notice is that this is not a real clean cut right there. And uh, I think right at this point it's time to stop and, and uh, dress the wheel. So we have the, the little dresser that's installed. It has a 90 degree uh, setting and a 30 degree setting for two different purposes. For facing off the end of the, of the uh, wheel, Go to the 90 degree. Get that out of the way. Now that should have pulled the face of the wheel away from this slightly, but we're going to touch it. The other thing that's going to happen though is we have a, a sharper edge now, so we might catch a little more here. <clears throat> okay, and I'll get you still on this too, but if you look now, we have the, the chisel point across here, and we have the back of the cut across here, at forming an X. So we're pretty well split right there. We left just, you know, came out just a little bit, but basically we left no, none of that heel in there. It's just a, a slight rise right there. I think we've actually got a pretty good split right here. I'll get some stills that are a little better to look at. Well, that's about it for this video, and 
If you liked it, well, be sure to let me know and uh, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. If you have a comment you think I'd like to hear, we'll uh, add that. And, uh, until the next one, happy trails.